Hey guys, here I am with Miss Olivia. Today we're going to be doing a cute little DIY flower pot with her feet, making it look like butterflies. So I hope you all enjoy. I couldn't help but bring this DIY to you guys. So yeah, I'm going to go through and show you guys all of the products I have to make this video. I'm going to tell you where I got them from in case you want to do it for your kids, as well as we're just going to do a little mini slideshow putting it together. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you want me to do more DIYs like this, definitely let me know. But without any further ado, let's go on ahead and get into it. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you guys the products. I got this six pack of pots from Dollar Tree, which I figured you couldn't beat. That way, if you messed up, you have extras, and also you can make multiples for your family members, which is what I plan to do. Also from Dollar Tree, I got this brush set, and it had another brush set which came with these big plastic pieces. I'm not going to use these, but I will probably use these brushes to brush the paint on her feet. Also got these black brushes from there too. The blue ones I picked up brand new today from Walmart. I got them because they're fine tip and I figured I could use this to paint the inside of the butterfly, like the belly of it and ears better so it's more precise. These, I'm not too sure if I'm going to use them, but I sat them out in case I wanted to make flowers or something around the butterfly. I got this multi-pack of glitter. One, because I have other painting ideas to do, so I figured I could use it for that. And also, I might change up the colors for her butterfly. We'll see. This is some acrylic paint that is optional. You can also get from Walmart. I'm not going to use it in this video though because I ended up buying this big jug of pink paint. This is what I had already had though. My plans were to mix red with white to make the pink, but they didn't have any white paint. So this was just an idea I was going to include in this video in case you found these. Those will work just as well. So mainly I decided to do her feet pink with pink glitter. This is the big jug of pink paint I got from there. It's apple barrel and it's in this magenta color. And this is the glitter I decided to top it off with. I believe this big jar was like $2.50. You can't beat it. But yeah, I plan to put this on her feet, put her feet on the jar, and then put this glitter on it before it dries. And to make sure it stays in place, I got some Mod Podge, which is from Dollar Tree. So mostly everything came from Dollar Tree except for the glitters and the paints and the blue brushes. To take the paint off of her feet, I'm going to use just regular baby wipes. I use this on my hands whenever I get paint on them when I do my other paintings, and it works great. So yeah, just a tip for you guys. So first off, I'm going to take some paint, and I think I'm going to do one foot at a time each so it's easier and not as messy. <laughs> So the paint actually has been drying pretty fast. So what I've been doing is taking some Mod Podge on a little brush, brushing it over her little footprints and sprinkling the glitter on top of it, which I will show you that and how it turns out. <music> Before I paint the body of the butterfly on, I just wanted to show you guys how they turned out. I got four good ones. For the body, I did end up using a black paint out of that acrylic kit. So I did decide to get some colors out of that acrylic kit. I got yellow, purple, and green. And I'm going to take these sponge applicators and just kind of put them on the blank areas to add more color to the pot. How it looks I think her feet are so cute and then it just has the splattered like paint on the side I ended up finding these flowers inside my house so I'm gonna put them in the bucket to make it look cuter for a picture That is all for this DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up for more and subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in my next video.